Yeah, that's going on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's my first time doing this, so, uh, Ooh, this is kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh, I just want to let y'all know now I have a speech impediment, so, um, if you laugh, you're going to hell, and if you don't laugh, you're probably still going to hell. <laughs> a lot of y'all are drinking right now. I'm drinking too, I'm driving home, so I'll probably see most of y'all in hell anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, speaking of depression, what you were talking about, because I actually have no act whatsoever going on in my head right now, but, uh, woo, I'm depressed because I kind of just got out of a good relationship. Um, they were like a couple of weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, it was like just July, so it's been like two months now. Um, it was a good relationship, it wasn't a bad relationship, it was actually good, you know, it was my first time actually being a good boyfriend and cheat on her or anything, and, you know, I cut the line down to a minimum, like, you know, I didn't lie about where I was, um, I would only lie about simple shit, like what you said, Do you like my nails, I'm like, mm, yeah, nice. Really, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You know, she always, you know, uh, y'all probably hear, hear this a lot, but you know, ladies, we don't really give a fuck about what you're saying when you're talking to us. We just listen because we know if we don't, we're gonna get a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> and so we had like a, we had like a communication breakdown. You know, I'm like, I told her I didn't not like to talk on the phone. I like to text. But she didn't text, cause like I would like text her on Monday, and then she text me back like two weeks later. I'm like, what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> and then she called me, like I hate, like you know, I hate, like I text her. And she called me, I'm like, ignore. Like, then she texts me, why don't you pick up? I'm like, because I text you. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, I love her. She's cool. We cool now. We cool, cause I'm not an asshole. So it was good turns out. We were really cool. It's whatever. It's so now I'm kind of like, you know, in the dating phase and shit, you know, um, I was a good boyfriend for a while, I decided to go back to being an asshole, so now I'm looking for multiple girlfriends. Um, <laughs> mainly I'm looking for women with kids because that's an easier target. You know, it's so hard to like, like <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to go to women who are like single with no kids because they have high expectations. <laughs> I don't need that. I need women with kids because it's much easier. Like, the best place to catch me like in the grocery store or like chicken cheese or somewhere. <laughs> like, you meet the kids first. You're like, hey, little man, how you doing? What's up, man? You want some tokens? Yeah, go play. I'm finna fuck your mama. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's what I picture in my head anyway. Little girls out that way because. They expect you to have a job and like be supportive and, and actually like their kids. See, one thing I take note of, like my mom got married to my stepdad, like he just knew the only fucking thing he had to do was like give me gummy bears. Like we had we have no real relationship besides like him teaching me how to drink and listen to old school music. But them gummy bears got him married. Okay? I mean, when she told me she was getting married, I had like a freak out thing at like the engagement party. I was like, I don't want you to get married. I wasn't having that. And then she like hit me and I was like, cool. She hit me and I was cool. You know, after that, we had a fine relationship. You know, we got divorced. I was like, yes! You know, 11 years and one sister too late, but still. It's cool. I was fine being the only child for 11 years. Like, really, I wasn't spoiled. I didn't get spoiled till high school. Cause my, my granddad, cause my dad is shit. Um, I'm recording this, so he's gonna see this. I'm sorry, dad, but you are shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> so my granddad like pretty much gave me everything I wanted. You know, you know, if I wanted shoes, he got it. You know, I got a car, he he got that for me. You know, whatever. But um, got what I was going. Excuse my ADD. <laughs> I'm not taking anything for that, but marijuana. <laughs> Oh man, okay, yeah. Give me a second, you go, you go park. You understand, these, these lights is hot, you motherfucker. <laughs> and I've already been outside like every weekend this summer because of my job, because like, you know, we have like pool parties and shit all the time. And so like, I'm like five times darker than I was. So I used to be like, this guy's color. <laughs> but I'm like, her shirt's color. But it's cool, I like being black, it comes with perks. <laughs> it does. It comes with perks, you know. You know, I get to be gangster, I get to say nigga. So y'all can't say nigga to y'all. Nigga, 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 nigga. 
that's that. I'm building myself on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell y'all some truths about me. Wait, how many minutes do I have? It might take me that shit. Did I just like keep going? What I got? Twice as long as you huh? should. Oh, oh, damn. My bad. I'm sorry. All right, let me tell you one joke. My end. All right. So the guy here, my, my friend was like, "What's your clothes?" And I'm like, "Shit." I went to the restroom, took a shit. I was like, "Uh, toilet paper." Thank you, Chad Adams. <laughs> <laughs>